Now we'll import the other ping file. So we'll go to File, Import to Library, and um, what I mean by the other flat version of the ping file. And we have this named as bus underscore 32 to indicate it's a 32-bit version of a ping file. Generally that means like a JPEG uh, with an extra channel for alpha, but we've got this uh, imported into the library, and we ended up with the same situation. When you import to the library, you get a symbol for it. And so we'll rename that right away, or delete it, depending on what your purposes are. And I'll just name it uh, bus ping 32. And uh, we don't really need to open it. It contains the bus 32 ping bitmap asset. We'll double click on its icon and take a look at the properties. And what we want to notice here is that this is already set up to export as a JPEG. And that again was determined by the creation of this ping on the outside. And Flash is determined to use publish settings, or we'll use JPEG settings from export movie. So let's see what that means. We'll close this and look in the publish settings, and that means in the public settings there are settings for defaults, and one of them is for JPEG quality when uh, that particular choice shows up on the properties for a bitmap asset. And you can see it's set to 80 quality for a JPEG and uh, so we just need to close that. You can set this for each movie and we'll just leave it at what it is and that's why we see, we'll come back over here to our bitmap asset and open up its properties, it says use publish settings, that's what it means as we're just getting the 80 from as the quality and again you can override this if you like. Alright, so we don't need to make any changes here and again you can understand that you have the opportunity to change the compression if you like in flash which I advise you not to do. Okay so let's add a layer for our new bitmap. So we'll come down here and we'll name this again the same name that it contains in the library bus underscore 32.png and we'll go get that bitmap and we'll bring it onto the stage and you'll notice it does not have a transparent background it's a little bit like a JPEG, and we'll resize it a bit, and we'll drag it over here so that it's uh, overlapping the other image, and by changing the layers, we'll take this layer for the bus 32 ping and put it underneath the bus 8 ping, and this way you can see there's a, a kind of a layering effect where one bus looks like it's passing or parked next to the first bus. And we'll just put the last one on to our stage 2. We'll create a layer for it and we'll call this uh, bus PNG32 after its library name. And we'll go to the library and drag it onto the stage. And it, since it just simply is a container for the bitmap symbol, it acts like it has no transparent background. And it just turns out that it's layered properly for us. We'll put it right here and we'll reduce its size a bit and park it behind the first bus. And that gives you a good start. Save your file. You might be thinking about which one do I need, the 8-bit or the 32-bit, since they all kind of look alike. Should it be a symbol? Shouldn't it be a symbol? Well, these are just exercises to see how you import and what actually happens in Flash and where the compression settings are located. If the bus was more of a photograph of the bus, then it would be in the 32-bit format. If it's a drawn picture, then the 8-bit with its number of colors would be the correct way to go. And this is more in the process of creating the graphic image, not so much once they're located into Flash. And so here's our bus eventually that we'll use in this animation. Importing a PNG file to Flash requires more knowledge about the source of the PNG and how it was made. When they're imported, they'll either be a GIF or a JPEG. And when you do import them uh, to the library, you're going to end up with a Flash graphic symbol in addition to the bitmap symbol. Just remember to rename it, that is the graphic symbol, so that you can clearly understand what's in your library.